Hello, hello. This is Monday, and Mondays from this time forward in our daily creative practice, we are going to be playing with new materials that we haven't played with before. So today I'm going to be playing with crayons by Vicki Booten. I'm excited about these. And I'm also going to be playing with this fabric stamp by Plaid Fabric Creations that um, is a big, thick, chunky block stamp. Kind of like the ones that you find for um, batik. That's what it reminds me of. So I am just going to dive right in here and play. And day 55. I'm excited about this. So let's just open these crayons somehow. And let's look at them. Let's check them out. Um, of course, these were found at Tuesday morning. Don't you love it? And this is her natural set, I think is what it's called. They're water soluble. They're um, they're pretty easy to play with. So I'm just going to pick a color here that you can see. Probably this gray is going to work pretty well for us. Let me get my stuff out of the way. I've got my little list of things we're going to do over here. So the first thing we're going to do is just look at it and look at the feel. And it's a pretty nice feeling crayon. Like it. It's not really hard. It's not really soft like the old oil crayons that I used to use for stenciling many, many years ago. It looks like it's got a lot of pigment. And that is really cool. So there's a lot of crayons out there that don't necessarily have a whole bunch of pigment in them. So I'm kind of excited about this. So I am just going to rub my stencil brush in this paint. And I like it because it's kind of dry to begin with. So that's really good for stenciling. So let's just put a stencil on here. And these stencils are from Stencil Girl, I believe. I believe they are. And I love them. They helped me out a while ago when I was doing a stenciling course, a big full stenciling course for the Graphics Fairy. And so I'm going to use these today. So I'm just going to come in here and swirl and see what is going to happen. And I'm liking that. It lasts a long time on my brush. And since I've got so much bulk in the front of this book, the stencil moved a little bit, but that's my fault, not not the stencil's fault. So look at that. Isn't that really cool? Nice, nice look. I love that. And it didn't get under the stencil at all. Darn. Love it. So the next thing I'm going to do, let me make sure. Nope. That's got vinegar in it. Let me find just some plain water. Okay, that's plain water. I'm just going to spritz this a couple of times because it's water soluble. And I am going to come in. And according to Vicki, this is supposed to look like watercolor. So now you see you've got a whole lot more stuff to be concerned about on your brush. So it might slip under the stencil, but let's just see. And, of course, that gives a whole lot more of the pigment. So that gives us two different looks here. And it does, if you're not careful, slip under the stencil. So just kind of be careful with that. You might want to, if you put water on it, you might want to do the um, pounce. Let me load some more on my brush. 
And this is an old stenciler's trick. If you've got a lot of paint on your brush, to pounce. Because pouncing doesn't have the tendency to go under your stencil as much as swirling. The two stenciling techniques. So dry gives a pretty good look. Wet can, if you're swirling, go under your stencil. But if you pounce with the wet brush, you get a different look. You get that really nice, pouncy look. Um, can't think of a word for it right now, but it's kind of like dots, a lot of little dots. But that kind of works better. So cool, cool beans. So I'm going to set this aside for a second. And I'm going to come in and rub some more of that color on here. Let me see what I want to do next. I think I'm going to rub a couple of colors in there this time. Let me get some, ooh, look how pigmented that is. And this has gotten way wet in here, which is what I want. I'm going to spray that a little bit and get in here with a paintbrush. And that's making some green and blue and yellow spots. And you just can take a index card and drop it down in there and pull it off and create a nice watercolor look to that. Isn't that really cool? I love that. Lots of uses I'm going to have for that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is take the stamp. And I opened it beforehand, so wasn't that good? Okay, I'm going to come in here with a different color. And put a fairly good lot of that on there, a little bit bigger than the stamp. And I am going to spritz that. And come in and make sure that is all wet. Kind of nice. I'm going to paint that off my brush on there, and I'm just going to stamp down in there and hopefully load my stamp and come in and press it on the page. Ooh, that's kind of delightful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Make sure my stamp is nice and cleaned off here. But look at how that looks. The first one's very watercolory, and the next one is a little bit more defined. And then another trick you can do is to dip your crayon into water to get it wet. And then color right on the stamp. And that would kind of be cool. Let me get all the edges here. Or as much as I can. And then I'm going to come in here with that yellow color and wet it and do the center. Let me make sure I got 
a lot of those areas covered. And then we're going to come in and hold your breath. <laughs> Actually, I love this stamp. This is much easier than all those other stamps I've used and had trouble with. <gasps> How cool is that? Nice watercolory areas. So that gives a nice ghostly kind of look. I'm loving that. Wet the stamp. Wet in the stamp. Make sure I've got everything. Place the card into it. I think I've gotten everything I was supposed to show you today with this wonderful set of crayons and these wonderful tools. I'm going to come in here and just brush over that one more time. Turn my little card over. Well, I'm just going to do it right on my page. Okay. And that's very wet, but that's going to be a cool look, I think. That's going to be a cool, cool look. And I'm still going strong over here. Getting these off of the stamp. So they, that goes a long way. You get a lot of bang for your buck with these crayons. So that's, that's really good. I am loving that, folks. Loving it, loving it. And I will clean that shortly. So I think that's pretty good. This is what we're doing today. Make sure you clean your brushes and clean your stamp and clean your stencil. So here we go. There's our nice little collection for today, day 55. Wasn't this fun? So remember, Mondays from now on, we're going to be playing with new materials and new things that we haven't played with before. Okay, dig into your stash and get some stuff out. If there's anything you'd like me to play with that you haven't played with, let me know. Tell me in the comments on Facebook, Creativa on Facebook. C-R-E, the number 8, T-I-V-A. Leave a comment for me. Um, there, my, my videos are also on YouTube, on Rebecca E. Parsons' channel on YouTube. So just let me know. Talk to me and let me know what you want me to do. So I will be back tomorrow when we're going to get into some paint. Tuesday is our painted day. And I will see you then. So for now, get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. May joy be with you all.